I'm Chris Meadows for Telerate.org, and I'm here to show you my iPad. Of course, I'll get into more detail on the posts on Telerate itself, where I'm able to show pictures and things. But for now, let's start. with my cat. Now, let's start with a uh, sample PDF file. I have, uh, I have a role-playing game book, Spirit of the Century. It's a standard pulp role-playing game. And, of course, thanks to Good Reader, you can put it on your iPhone. iPhone. But where it really shines is on the iPad. As you can see, they're about the same size, which means that you get very little degradation in image quality in terms of reading it on your iPad. I'll just page down a couple of times here. Not bad, huh? Here's a little something else that I've been uh, doing. So. It took a while to load, but <laughs> Watching Moon on Netflix. One slightly annoying thing about the Netflix interface is that you can't just double tap to expand it because Apple of course has con insists that only it can use multi-touch but you can expand it with this little thing in the corner here this is a Netflix movie on demand which, uh, if you have a Netflix account for a few bucks a month, you can stream these movies directly to your iPad with Wi-Fi or to your boxy unit or boxy on your computer. And the app is reportedly coming to the iPhone iPod Touch soon. What else? What else? Ah! There's a game I like to play. I don't know if you can see it very well from here. Plants vs. Zombies. Now, as you can see, it is taking approximately forever to load the game. Very long load time here. Still loading. On the other hand, Plants vs. Zombies High Definition. Just 
goes like that. If you've never played Plants vs. Zombies, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But... Getting back to ebook related matters here. Here is e-reader. Tiny little thing, isn't it? But we can blow that up. Of course, when you do blow it up, it looks kind of fuzzy. You may not be able to tell from this fuzzy web uh, camera video, but if I go, when I uh, get around to doing the actual review for a tele read, I'll put pictures up, screenshots, so you can see for yourself how it is. Now, on the other hand, here we have iBooks. We will have iBooks. You'll notice that the uh, book is in is in left justification now since I uh, used that uh, caliber tip that I posted earlier on this book. But, yeah, just like that. You really can't see from this low-resolution video, but it looks really nice. Getting back to, uh, let's see how Kindle looks now. Kindle is still fully justified. And unlike with, uh, with iBooks, it doesn't have the facing pages thing. But still, looks really nice on the screen, doesn't it? Here we have Instapaper Pro. Which is uh, quite nice. And of course, Stanza. Which again suffers from the uh, iPhone, the iPod, iPhone fuzz effect. Here is Classics, another iPod uh, fuzz effect book. Just make the nice page turn sounds, though. Oh, here's an application I like to show off. Scrabble. Not technically ebook related, I suppose, but it is word related. The iPad version of Scrabble is kind of neat in that it lets you, uh, if you have iPhones or iPod touches, you can sort of connect them connect them up and uh, play with the tiles in your hand on the uh, on the iPod or iPhone. So far I haven't yet gotten to do that with anybody, but one of these days. Anyway, this is my the iPad I've been uh, playing with for the last week. 
I'm going to do some more detailed reviews on the website uh, soon. For now, this is Chris Meadows for Telereed.org.